Life is funny though, man, you know? Weird things happen to me, man. It's, it's weird, you notice things when you're sober. I went to a Walmart grocery store, right? And uh, I've never been to a Walmart grocery store before, you know? It looked like it was cheap and everything. And, you know, it was on a Saturday, so there was, it was really busy. There was like 20 people in every line, right? <laughs> But there was like nobody at that self checkout line, and I've never done that before, right? So I said, oh, I'll go give it a shot, you know? So I'm swiping my bread, you know, boop, and it goes, put it in the bag. <laughs> Swipe the cheese, boop, put it in the bag. Swipe the milk, boop, put it in the bag. Suddenly I realized, I'm working at freaking Walmart. Tap me on the shoulder, hey, you gotta sweep the produce section. Because you're in the self checkout. I was like, screw it, I'm going back to Publix. <laughs> I love Publix. You know what's cool about Publix? Every Publix has a sign outside that says, shirt and shoes required. That's the law of Publix. Shirt and shoes required. It says nothing about pants. <laughs> so all the guys here, tomorrow you want to all go to Publix? <laughs> Wearing just a tank top and work boots? <laughs> like 40 of us dangling up the aisle 12? And ask them where the whipped cream is. Where's the cool one? And they can't do nothing to you because you're wearing a shirt. You can show your privates in Publix. Isn't that a lot? People say, how do you become a comedian? I like fail at everything else. <laughs> I was a lifeguard for like two weeks. I lasted two weeks. And in Daytona, actually. <laughs> I was like the worst lifeguard in the world. There'd be people drowning out in the water. Hey, are you gonna do anything about this? I'd be like, no, I just ate. <laughs> just had a huge lunch. Right? There's really no sense in both of us drowning. <laughs> Wait 45 minutes to go back in the <laughs> My whole family works construction, man. Uh, that was too hard for me, man. Uh, construction's a hard way to make a living. Jesus quit. <laughs> <laughs> you know it's hard if the Son of God goes, you know what, I'd rather be nailed to a cross than lay one more sheet of plywood. Swear to me. <laughs> then like 10 years ago, they made people start taking drug tests. I wasn't clean yet, so I never could pass a drug test. <laughs> Unless it was written. Do you do drugs? No. Yeah, you misspelled no. Again? This is a good job, though.
God for this job. There's some jobs I just look at and I'm like, man, that's a shitty job. <laughs> like, like human signs. You ever see those guys on the side of the room? That makes me feel old. I want to tell like kids, you know, when I was your age, we didn't have human signs. Back then we had what we called sticks. And what they do is they nail the sign to the stick and then put it in the ground. And you never had to worry about the stick calling in sick for work. You didn't have to pay the stick. And you didn't have to worry about the stick dying from heat exhaustion because he's sitting in the Florida sun dressed like the goddamn Statue of Liberty. But they have outsourced the stick. I want to tour with you. And you can drive. A shitty drive. Well, I got summer. I had so many DUIs. I had a lot of DUIs. I had an organization called Mothers Against Steve Johnson. <laughs> this, is, this is me. Ma. Mothers Against My Ass. How was it? But they made me put one of those interlock devices on for a couple of years. You know what those are? You gotta blow into it every five minutes while you're driving. It's the most dangerous thing in the world. But every five minutes, I'm <laughs> 70 miles an hour. <laughs> and when I got my license back, I, I hadn't drove for like 15 years, man, so I had no idea what I was doing. <laughs> I remember like I'd been driving like a month, right? And I came up with this traffic sign, and it said, no left turn between 11 a.m. and 6 p.m. I was there four and a half hours waiting to make the left. <laughs> Um, 